leading surgeon from India, explains pectus excavator surgery. Minimally invasive repair of pectus excavator, also known as a nurse procedure, which has undergone various changes over time and uh, we have got modified nurse procedure or we call it as minimally invasive repair of pectus excavator. Other name about this is basically in common uh, layman know it as funnel chest. It's a depression in the center of the sternum or away from the sternum. Uh, this is just about a classification which helps us in the repair of such defects because we've got variety of defects in such cases which may be asymmetrical or asymmetrical, a small segment, a long segment, various angulations. It is the CT images of such cases where you can see there is a depression here and uh, as you can see here since because of depression the heart is pushed inside. You can see here the space between the breastbone and the heart. There is hardly any space. It's like uh, you're compressing your heart or you're squeezing your heart. So there is definitely an impact on the physiology of the heart and uh, lung systems. This is again the CT image of uh, asymmetrical defects. Asymmetrical defects. This shows us basically what is a minimally invasive repair. It involves placing a stainless steel bar which is contoured in such that uh, desired shape of the chest wall is formed. Like see, once you put a bar and rotate it, you get a symmetrical chest on both sides, which is a desired just for configuration. One thing about this is that uh, this pectus excavatum has been treated uh, neglected in many other places thinking it to be just another cosmetic defect which is not uh, true because it has got both physiological as well as psychosocial impact and it should be treated as a disease and not just as a cosmetic defect. Perioperative evaluation in all cases require a CT thorax and other investigations to look for the fitness for surgery and any associated cardiac anomalies. This is just a video which is showing you the morphology of the defect. As you can see here the defect is such that you can even collect a pool of solution that is pitadine. Uh, the defect is so much that you can see at least about 200 ml of pitadine can accumulate in that defect. These are few landmarks uh, during the surgery which is important. This which will help us decide whether you will require a single stainless steel bar or uh, two stainless steel bars. You are, we are basically looking for the sites of maximal depression and uh, sites of elevations and points where we are going to go in for the surgery. We have to measure what size of bar has to be placed and uh, accordingly that uh, contour has to be made. This is uh, showing uh, about the bar bending techniques. And the first one you can see here the symmetrical, where the defect is symmetrical, it is located in the center. So definitely the bar bending technique also becomes very easy. We just require a symmetrical bar, which when placed inside will lift the chest wall to the rear contour. If you can see on the other side, you've got asymmetrical defects. You cannot really describe uh, the defect. It's difficult, but in based on morphological classification, you can know it. Uh, here you can see here the defect is more on the left side, and sometimes it is more on the right side, and irregularly placed, angulated. So accordingly, the bars also need to be bent, bent as asymmetrical bar, or you call it as seagull bar or omega bar. Uh, that's basically based on the defect. This is just to show you the bar bending techniques. After we have on table uh, measured all the landmarks seen everything marked on the stainless steel bar we'll use a handheld bar bender this is a bar bender which is a handheld one and then we bend the bars and at the end of the procedure we'll see it the bar fits as a mirror image on the chest wall defect externally we'll see it fits snugly and then Make sure that it forms a mirror image when it is fit on the chest wall. Medical Tourism Corporation facilitates affordable medical and dental treatment at world-class international hospitals and clinics. Fill out the estimate request form on our site, medicaltourismco.com, for a free quote and more information.